Happy New Year everyone, I'm going to show the new and improved setup process for Valkord. It's way simpler now, no third party websites needed unless if you choose to. So just a few clicks, we're cheaper and more features than all other services, you should definitely try this out. So first, let's go over to the bot tab, click on the create bot button, choose a name for the bot, it's just for your purposes on the dashboard. Click on this link for the Discord developer portal, and then click on the create application button. Choose a name again. Make sure you're not impersonating any other bot. You want this to be accurate so you don't have any issues with Discord staff. Now that we've created an application, let's go to the bot tab on Discord's website and click on reset token. Copy your token and paste into our vault core dashboard. Now go back to the Discord website, go to the OAuth 2 tab and click to reset the client secret. Now copy the client secret and paste that into our vault core dashboard. Now that we have a bot, we'll go over to the servers tab, then create server button. This server name will show on your verification page, so keep that in mind. You can also set a profile image verification page. I'll choose the bot that we just created. Then I'm going to click on the invite bot. I'll authorize the bot and then make sure you click on the X for the pop-up when you're finished. Now it shows and I'll click next. This role part is optional. You could click next if you don't want the members to get a role when they verify. However, if you do want them to get a role, make sure that you go into your server settings, roles, and that you drag your bot above the verified role. It must be above or this won't work. Okay, now you have a choice to make. You can use GitHub, that's the third party website, and then you can customize your verification page as much as you want, custom messages, custom design, all of that. However, it's gonna take longer, and so at least at first, I would recommend automatic. So I'm going to click this automatic option. It'll give me a name to start, and I can change this to whatever is available. Now I must copy the URL that we're given here. Make sure to copy the end slash. It's very important that it's exact for Discord. Take it over to Discord's website, go to the OAuth 2 tab, and then to the redirect section, and click the add redirect button. Paste in that URL word for word that you saw on our dashboard and save changes. Then click next to finish the server setup. We also have backups as you can see. I've done another video about this very recently so I recommend you go watch that for in detail. If you want to use your verification page as a vanity URL per se, click on the edit little button on the server and then you just send people your domain name. And when they verify, they'll get added to your server. However, if they're already in your server, the more recommended way is a verification message embed. We will click on the verify message. Then we will select the channel that we prefer and it will send this prompt. And when you click it, you can see that they're already logged into Discord. So your chances of getting people to verify this way are drastically higher. So it's definitely the better option in most cases. Also, if you pay for premium or plus one of the two paid plans, you'll be able to do slash commands and you'll be able to use slash commands where you type slash and then it'll be verify dash embed. The server is now deleted. Let's set up a new server. Go to the Volcore dashboard, go to servers, click the edit icon on your server, scroll down to the bottom, check the guild ID, then click the invite bot button. Click to add it to the new server and make sure that you click the X on the pop-up again. Now click submit. We've got this new server now, but my other account is nowhere to be found. So we'll go to the members tab now and we'll click on the pull members. You can also type slash in your Discord server and you'll see the command to pull members if you've upgraded and set slash commands. Now we'll choose the server and we'll click pull members and you'll see my account is added. It will also restore channels, messages, all that. Again, watch the other video if you want an in-detail review of all that. Thank you for watching. I wish all of you guys success in the new year. Have a good one.